Hi friends, good evening. As some of you might be aware, I am Dr. Ramesh Parimi, a surgical oncologist, and I am with the Case Hospitals, Madhapur High Tech City, Hyderabad. There has been a request for some uh, procedure for breast cancer called BCS, breast conservation surgery. People have been asking whether uh, breast can be saved during surgery in a case of breast cancer. The answer is very much yes. So the topic of interest today and some kind of knowledge to give you all is BCS. As you know, breast cancer has taken the number one place among the incidence of cancers in women during the last 10 years. Though uh, rural folks used to be afflicted much less, com uh, much less compared to urban folks, now the statistics show that Women in rural areas are also equally uh, commonly affected, and uh, this develop uh, this cancer develops in both urban and uh, rural women with equal incidence. Now, whenever there is a tumor or breast cancer, I mean, in the breast, the usual uh, victim is to remove the breast. The organ of origin of the tumor is removed. That's the usual surgical principle in. Uh, cancer treatments surgically. But with a lot of uh, literature, experience and trials coming up during the past 50 years, during the last 35 to 40 years, the concept of BCS, breast conservation surgery, has come into vogue. It's now totally established, well beyond doubt, that breast conservation is possible as a part of treatment of breast cancer surgically. Of course, there is a specified uh, number of cases. The main purpose of this operation is not only to save the breast, but also to treat completely without any compromise about the surgical principles of cancer treatment. The main principle in cancer treatment is that we have to do an RO resection, that means R0 surgery, where the tumor cells are not even found microscopically in the removed specimen or in the leftover breast. That is the idea of uh, uh, scientific and also uh, cosmetically doing the surgery. So the breast surgery here includes what is called removal of the part of the tumor along with a good amount of the normal breast tissue. The idea is that uh, as much possible as it warrants, normal tissue has to be removed so that the cut margins or the microscope edges of the tumor removed or the lump removed, the total specimen, let me say, removed is free of cancer cells. Not only the tumor along with the liberal margins and also along with the normal tissue is removed, the nodes also in the axial armpit are also addressed to in the same uh, sitting because the breast cancer can spread to lymph nodes in the armpit as you know on the same side, that is called axial lymph nodes. As you might be aware <coughs> from previous uh, talks, from various doctors, the lymph nodes in the axilla are spread in three stages, I mean it's three levels, level 1, level 2, level 3. And these nodes are uh, uh, diagnosed whether they are afflicted with cancer or not, uh, I mean the cancer cells are migrated there or not by various means before surgery itself like you know, PET scan, ultrasound scan. And also nowadays we have got uh, sentinel node biopsy technique wherein only particular affected node or nodes are removed instead of disturbing the whole of the axillary uh, anatomy and also the lymph nodes. So the overview of this operation is BCS is that uh, the tumor along with the normal breast tissue is removed adequately. Of course, the tumor size should be not more than uh, 3 to 4 centimeters. So we call T1, T2, T3, T4 stages. So stage T1 and T2, tumor size being 1 to 2 centimeters or the most 3 to 4 centimeters is ideal. Beyond that uh, tumor size, the uh, operation BCS may not be suitable because the experience shows that uh, the bigger the tumor occupying more than one quadrant, the more likelihood of again recurrence in the remaining part of the breast when BCS is performed. So even in uh, tumors about four, 1 to 2 centimeters, no debate at all, it can be straight away removed along with the uh, so whatever surgery to be done on the axilla, but those tumors which are around 3 to 4 centimeters 
one can give a new adjuvant therapy that means before surgery some kind of treatment should be given mostly chemotherapy followed by surgery and later on again chemotherapy and radiotherapy as the indication may be so the purpose of this operation is to conserve the breast and also to treat adequately without any compromising and surgical principles the breast cancer surgically and uh, in doing so it should be remembered that bcs uh, most of the times if not all the time most of the time needs extra treatment which is called adjuvant therapy the adjuvant therapy is following surgery is in the form of radiotherapy with a boost to the tumor bed or the place where it's quadrant to the breast where the tumor was situated with a boost to it that is called external beam radiotherapy previously brachytherapy was done intensively but nowadays with modern gadgets of radiotherapy brachytherapy is not always needed but uh, external beam radiotherapy using imrt technique or the machines is adequate and in deserving cases depending on the further investigation called isc the chemotherapy also may be given for these patients complications of this operation are not many and uh, maybe some kind of collection is there that's where drain is always placed in the breast under the incision where the cavity is left behind after the removal of the tumor with the breast tissue and also if necessary one is left in the axilla if the nodes are addressed to surgically so the only complication noted is what you call immediately after surgery collection that is called seroma the late complication or not many but only related complication is recurrence of the tumor in the same breast having been treated by bcs over a period of time that happens about 2% of cases uh, even those adequately treated and suitably selected for this purpose do develop recurrence that is called local recurrence in the breast remaining part of the breast that is long term complication the advantages as you already been aware the cosmetic and the surgical uh, principles being applied the um, main thing is that the victim of this uh, disease lady will have the psychological satisfaction which usually boosts her morale that her rest is preserved and uh, it would do a lots of good for her psyche also and uh, she will be very happy that the organ conservation has taken place in spite of the dreaded disease she had been afflicted with the recovery time following bcs is generally about 3 to 5 days most of the ladies go home next day itself unless there has been a drain placed and the other. one can also be discharged with a drain in situ with some precautions being given how to safeguard the drain and all that so it's now nowadays has become a kind of a day care procedure bcs that means morning the lady is ushered into operation room by evening or next day morning at the most she gets checked out of the hospital so it is a very good operation by all means and also uh, with the various techniques available as kind of additional treatment or adjuvant therapy in the form of radiotherapy and chemotherapy and also the investigations which Uh, predict the long term prognosis bcs has become part of the treatment of breast cancer surgically all over the globe including india and hyderabad one of the commonest operations performed so one need not be very much uh, scared that um, why he, he, she is bound to lose the breast 100% when a cancer develops in the breast the alternative procedure like bcs is also equally good and equally dependable and this is all for today friends any issues any doubts you can always interact with me on the page what you are going through thank you very much